reviews. Really, this stuff is really awesome. Throw this in the garbage. Oh, super versatile and one of my favorite trucks of all time. Just in case you're wondering, I am driving pretty badly on purpose. Yeah, just bends in half. It's, it's garbage. Come on, wouldn't you trust this face? All right, I'm out here in the garage tonight and we got a fun little project from Sense Innovation, Sense Hobby. A lot of people have been talking about these um, on the Facebook group and stuff. It's an ESS-1, engine sound system. The idea is that you get this nifty little self-contained box, speaker and volume control in it, hook it up to your truck, or car, drift car works good too, and it's got audio. So let's show you on my tablet here. Here's the program. A couple things that are a little bit iffy about it. The program is totally written in Chinese, so it's a little tricky um, to kind of get through some of the menus. But let me give you a little... So that's the standard sound it comes with, um, which is a little more than what I want for this truck, which is supposed to be a diesel. So then I can go to the resources tab. And here's the thing I don't like about it. You spend $100 on the sound system, and then these sounds are an extra $2. They give you a few for free, but then if you want certain special things, you know, say you want the, the RX-7, you have to pay for that one. And that's all well and good, sure, whatever. But, I mean, I really... If you spend 100 bucks for it, you should get it. The short course truck is free. A couple of touring car and drift cars are free. They give you one crawler sound for free. which I think is kind of lame sounding. I don't really like the way it sounds. Really, honestly, that one's probably the best. Um, you can then also add, uh, like, your your brake sounds. And they also have turbo sounds. No brake. And all these will kick in when you let off the throttle. So we're going to make some sounds together and then upload them and see what it looks like. So there's little things like this. I just tried to pay for the sound file. Hope it looks like it's starting to scroll now. Basically the whole thing tries to open this web browser window and then it froze up. See if I can hit it now. The whole program is running super slow. Could be because I'm running a Windows 8 tablet. Um, 
and maybe it's, I mean, it does say it's a 32-bit program, and this is a 64-bit tablet running Windows 8. It might work better on a Windows 7 machine, but they definitely need to, definitely need to make the program a little bit better, a little more user-friendly. I don't know. It's not doing anything now. Last time it did this, I totally just gave up and killed the program and started over again. All right, took a couple tries, but now it's writing the file over to the box. One of the things I do like about this design is the super simple all-in-one. Like, this is it, is what you get. Single box, works from two to six cell. Um, it comes with a Y connector so that you can plug it in. I have one going through my light kit, so it is working. This is, this is a Y cable going to my receiver running to my light kit, Y kit off, and it's going to plug into here. And then they also include a Dean's pigtail right here for it. And one of the nice things about this setup, since I have the smoker already in this truck, it's drawing a lot of power for the smoker, and it's the smoker is drawing more power before the lipo cutoff on the, on the speed control is catching. But this has a beeper built into it, and since it's connected before the speed control, the lipo cutoff on this should start beeping before my battery gets ruined, which is going to be a good thing. So, it says the file's done being written. Dodge truck. Okay, so right now I got this sound. Kind of has a diesel sound, which is what I'm looking for. My main concern is, is it going to sound the way I want it to? So let's check some settings over here. I have the brake turned off because I really don't need a tire squeal thing. I got an idle on. I'll go ahead and turn on the rev limiter. I'm going to have the turbo effect on. I'm turning off the shifting. I don't need it to shift gears while I'm driving. Let me look at some of these other. There's my LiPo calibration. I got it set to 7 volt right now. Low voltage is on. The rest of that stuff should be fine. That's the engine setting I'm going to drop. Um, engine, engine. And before I do that, I got to get a turbo. I think it's this one that I wanted. Play it. Yep, I'm going to install that. So what that should do for me is uh, when I let off the trigger, if I'm flooring the, you know, if I'm pushing it pretty hard and then let off, I should hear that turbo blow off. That's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and save this configuration. It's writing. It's all in Chinese. I have no idea what it's doing. All right, now I'm going to plug it back in and see what we Right now when I plug it in, my light kit flashes, telling me it's figuring out what's going on. Then the lights come on. At this point, the smoker that is in here, it's hard to see. At this point, the smoker has already started making smoke. It's not coming out, and it won't until I give it throttle and the pumper motor starts pumping. It's just heating up. I can feel it warming in there because it's directly connected to the battery. So as soon as the battery's plugged in, it starts warming up making smoke. So there'll be some built in the chamber. So now, got the radio on. That was just a tap on the trigger to get it going. Oops, I got some junk in the way here.
one of the things I need to do, I think, is calibrate my radio here real quick. I've calibrated the radio, which was super easy. Uh, to calibrate the radio, you hold down the plus thing till it beeps at you, and then um, let it go to neutral, hit plus, it'll beep. Full throttle plus, beeps, reverse, hit the plus, it beeps, and then it's calibrated. So watch this. Let me hold the truck a little bit. So you get a turbo shut down there. Might have to play with the speed settings a little bit on it. I definitely got to find room for all my wires and everything. Smoker does work. And while it's idling, it's got a little bit of smoke rolling out. It's not fully completely realistic, it still puffs, but. Obviously that smoke is harder to see in the outdoor videos where there's a little more light. If it has a black backdrop, you know, in, in here, we can see it a little better against that tire. It's just white smoke. You can't make black smoke or it clogs a thing, but... All in all, a pretty cool little product. It might get annoying at a racetrack or a drift event, but... Um, it's also not quite loud enough to overcome the whine of the electric motor. There's not much you can do about that, really. Uh, but I think it's going to be a fun little addition to the crawler as, a, as I'm trying to go realistic, obviously, with the driver's hand moving and shifting and the smoker and that kind of thing. This truck is now basically up to 9 pounds, and I still haven't even finished the interior yet. So um, the other thing about it is I've kind of lost where I'm going to put my spare tire uh, or where I would normally put my spare tire. So I no longer have a scale point for a spare tire. So I got to do the math on this truck and see if I'm still maxing out at the 50 for our local clubs competition, because right now um, those comps are, or those scores are so close that I definitely want to be maxed out on my scale point. So I need to make sure that my hard body metal bumpers and all that um, still keep me up at that 50 points that I need. Uh, Otherwise, it's just going to be a whimsical thing that I'm not going to use because I need my scale points back, but we'll see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know if you'll find it worth $100 to have the engine sound or not. It's a lot of money for that. Some of the sounds are kind of cheesy, 
uh, I think anyway. Um, but I do really like the product. Uh, it's not terrible and it's kind of fun to have engine noise out of your electric vehicle. So if you're like me and you kind of like the nitro noise, but dealing with the mess of nitro is not your thing, then this is one way to go. You can throw a sound thing in there. I know Traxxas has got one out. I have not tried it. I can't compare. I'm not doing a comparison video at all. All I'm doing here is just saying, what did I think about this one? I like the self-contained unit. It's pretty easy to program if they can get their software, you know, buggies worked out. It'll be even better. I don't like having to pay for the extra sound files and there's no way to create your own sound file. I'd really like a way to create your own sounds. Um, they don't have that yet. Maybe they will in the future. I don't know. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps some of you out that maybe were thinking about it, wanting to know a little bit more about it. It's not hard to set up and program. You will need a Windows computer with a USB port for that. Um, and then plug it in, calibrate your radio, and go. It's not too bad. Thanks for watching.